Today I want to show you how to use the new nested clips feature in ScreenFlow 4 to create a nifty scrolling text effect, like the one used in the old Star Wars intro that you see here. So I'll start by adding a text box in the document. I'll resize it to span the width of my screen. And I'm just going to paste here some text. This happens to be the intro to one of my favorite books, The Hobbit. My text box defaults to five seconds, so I'm going to make it a bit longer so that it will show on screen for, say, 20 seconds. So now I want to nest my clips. However, ScreenFlow will only let me nest clips if I have more than one clip selected. The way I'll get around that is to just split my text clip into two clips for the moment, select them both, and now when I right click I'll have the option to nest my clips. I can double click on my nested clip to open up a nested timeline for editing. Now that I have my clips in a nest, I'll just delete the second clip and extend my one text clip again out to 20 seconds. Now I'll use the video actions to move my paragraph of text from the bottom of the screen all the way to the top of the screen. So I add a video action and I'll extend that action all the way to the end of the clip so the action will take the full duration of time to go from start to finish. Now I set my scrubber at the beginning of the action and place the clip where I want the action to begin. Then I'll set my scrubber at the end of the clip and move the clip to where it should be when the action ends. So you can see as I scrub along the timeline here, the clip moves from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. Now I want to get that nice 3D dimension into the text. But if I try to do that on the clip with the video action, you'll see it doesn't work. When you add the rotation to a clip with a video action, that rotation and the action kind of combine in a weird way to make a strange moving effect. Not what I wanted at all. But now that we have nested clips, we can achieve the effect we want with the nest. So let's go back to our main timeline. So here I'll select the nested clip. So you'll see that the video action is still there. And now when I add the rotation, it doesn't combine with the video action and it just rotates that nested clip that already has the video action on it. So it gives us that nice 3D effect. So now I'm just gonna adjust that clip a little bit. I'll move it down to the bottom and extend it out to the top so that it looks like it's going back in space. So I might make it a little bigger here and adjust a little bit more so that it looks like it's coming into the screen in a more 3D way. And I can also go back into my nested clip or my nested timeline and adjust the size of my text box from there so that when I enlarge the nested clip on the main timeline, uh, it's, it's not quite as big. So there you have it cool scrolling effect with nested clips.